Welcome back everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all just fine. I'm feeling a lot better. For those of you wondering where I've been for the past couple of weeks, I've actually been out sick uh, with a pretty severe case of RSV, but uh, it's good to be back making videos, so let's get into it. In today's topic, we're going to be discussing the night. So, the night is perfectly balanced. If you're playing against a four-man sweat squad, on the biggest maps of the game. You know what, let's just step back and start off with a survey. By a show of hands, and to be honest now, uh, who here has fun playing against the knight? Alright now, who here does not have fun playing against the knight? One final question. Who here thinks the game is a 4v1 Azim? If your hand is still up, I got some bad news for you, buddy. You see, the knight is perfectly balanced in a 4v1 asim, and he's the first killer like this. Which, I mean, that, that right there tells me one of two things. So the first thing this tells me is that you've been wrong about the way you've been looking at this game. Your perspective on what this game is has entirely been mistaken. And that's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay to, to be wrong. And in fact, it's not entirely your fault. Um, the last video I made, which I highly recommend you stop and go and check that video out and then come back to this one. But that last video I made <clears throat> discusses this very subject. And I point to various mechanics and even the way that your uh, MMR is tracked to show how this game is not in fact a 4v1. And then there's the second thing this tells me about you, or possible thing. If you fall into this camp, now, the second thing this tells me is that you're not playing in a four-man sweat squad. And if you're not having fun playing against the knight, but you believe this game is a full-on 4v1 game, well then, then it's entirely your fault why you're not having fun playing against the knight now, isn't it? I mean, the knight is basically an anti-swift killer. He's an anti-4v1 killer. And if you're playing a 4v1 while not in a four-man team, that really is just your fault. I mean, that, that's really just it. That's your fault why you're not having fun playing against the knight. And really, if anything, you shouldn't be here watching this video. You should be off on the forums or on Twitter begging the devs for more killers just like the knight with all the fun and engagement he brings to every trial. But really, I digress. All sarcasm aside, I'm not going to be one of those content creators who tries to fool you or tries to convince you that the knight is anything other than what he is. I'm not going to sit there and tell you that he's mediocre or that he's mid-tier or that he's weak and in need of a buff. The knight is straight up pay to win. And it's high time that especially content creators and everyone who's sitting there quote unquote having fun with him needs to just be honest about it. the knight is pay to win and I, I don't care what kind of epic guide or 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 little how to or show you know a little show off thing that you want to do on how to play the knight or better ways to improve this that and the other thing no 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 the only way you play the knight and win consistently is play the knight you pretty much win from the lobby I mean, it literally doesn't matter what build you play. I would know. I've I've actually played him quite a bit today, and that's all I did was win. It was pretty brainless. Uh, you know, the only two games uh, that I did not get a 4K in, I gave someone the hatch, and in the other one, they found the hatch. And that was it, just two. Well, there was one other game I don't mention, but that game had a hacker in it. And honestly, I just, uh, that, that, that doesn't gauge anything. So I don't even count that. But 
Knight is just straight up pay to win. You win from the lobby. And all this this all this really is that we're seeing with people saying that he's uh, mediocre or mid-tier, it's one of two things. And it really is one of two things. And the first bit is that the problem is the player. If you are playing Knight and you're struggling him, the problem is you. Straight up. This is a killer who wins from the lobby. If you're not winning from the lobby, if you're not winning consistently, you're the problem. Now, if you're up against a, a solid Swift who, uh, you know, can beat you on the biggest map, well, guess what? You're balanced to be going up against that. So you shouldn't be struggling. But at the same time, you know, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to stomp them and 4K them. That, that, that's just understandable. Every killer struggles against a four-man sweat squad. And that's just the reality of, uh, reality of being killer, you know. And speaking of four-man sweat squads, the only other reason why I would hear anyone claim that this killer is mediocre or mid-tier is cognitive dissonance. And it's the same exact cognitive dissonance that we've gotten from Survivor mains and Swift mains and, and uh, you know, content creators who play nothing but Survivor, you know, for years. Where they sit there and say, Survivor Friends doesn't give you any advantages. Absolutely, it does. It's the same cognitive dissonance where people who have every advantage handed to them don't want to admit that every advantage is handed to them. They're going to come up with some excuse as to why it's, you know, they, they, they won based on their own skill or, or whatever. It's it's no different than, than um, what is it? It was a well, Monopoly experiment. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of this. But it was an experiment that's been done where basically they get four people to play Monopoly, but they give one person double the starting money, double the income when he passes go, and uh, I think it was even giving them an extra di an extra die to roll on on their turns as well, while everyone else um, they they ended up getting like half of what was uh, available when passing go, and it, they found the people who had every advantage handed to them were basically uh, braggadocious. They would uh, they would talk about how great they were at the game that they won because of their their um, you know their aptitude for business and negotiating, not because they uh, they had all the money to start with at the beginning and had every advantage given to them. But anyways, I digress. The point here is is that the only two people who are going to sit here and tell you that night is not pay to win, the night is mediocre or somehow mid tier. They're people who aren't playing him well, for one, or they're people who don't want to admit that the only reason they're winning is because they're playing the play-to-win killer. That's just it. I mean, and it, I mean, it's 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 frustrating to see it on both sides. It was frustrating for years, being someone advocating for better balance for killers to see that from the survivors it's frustrating no less seeing it from killer players who are sitting there acting like night is you know not night night is nothing special you know night is is not overpowered he absolutely is and how do you play night well well it's very simple fart a guard that's it that's the strategy fart a guard fart guards it's to the point that i call him sir fart and a guard martin because that's all you do. If you're not farting guards, you're not winning. And that's it. You, you see, you see a, a survivor out of loop, fart a guard. You got a breakable wall in your way, fart a guard. Need to guard that generator, fart a guard. Want to camp but don't want to be called a camper, fart a guard. I mean, really, that that's all it is. You're just going in. You're taking a big giant dump all over the map. And then somehow acting like you did something uh, something great and you won. You know, even though you had an AI zone out a survivor for you. Somehow that was your skill. That was your ability. Your your mental aptitude. You outsmarted the survivor by sending an AI that runs through pallets, runs through windows to go and, you know, run the survivor to you. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous to see the mental gymnastics coming from killer players trying to justify how somehow 
after they get a 4K with Knight, that Knight is just not overpowered at all. Knight's overpowered. Super busted. Absolutely broken. And he's a bad sign of things to come. That's the worst part about it. He's a bad sign of things to come. And if behavior keeps up this trend, there's not going to be a Dead by Daylight. Because that's the one thing that Dead by Daylight has over all its 4v1 or 5v1 asim competitors. The fact that it's not a 4v1 asim. And now that we have the knight, who is the first sign that the game is actually taking a hard, hard shift in that direction, people aren't having fun with it. People have started leaving it. It's just going to be another dead asim. That's what's going to happen. The more... Dead by Daylight becomes like an actual 4v1 asim, the closer it's going to come to being a dead game. And Knight is just proof of that. His whole chapter has people leaving the game in droves once again. And honestly, I don't think there's going to be any amount of licensed, uh, licensed uh, content that will actually be able to save Dead by Daylight from this one. Behavior needs to hard course correct on this. And unfortunately... That's going to involve them breaking the night. There's no way to fix the night, and I'm pretty sure behavior doesn't want to go over and redesign an entire chapter because that's what it would take to correct the night. But other than that, the only other solution they have, which is the easy solution, nerf the night into the ground, make them unplayable, make them so no one wants to play Sir Fart and a Guard Martin, and that basically would save the game again. But anyways that's gonna do it for me i'm gonna leave it here because otherwise it's just gonna get long and ranty knights pay to win cut and dry if you're gonna say he isn't you you're just wrong <laughs> for one you're just wrong and for two you're wrong <laughs> and uh uh yeah i'm gonna leave it there anyways uh be sure to like comment and subscribe don't forget to and share with me your stories in the comments down below of how you were 4K'd and someone told you that Knight's actually a very mediocre weak killer. Go, go ahead. Go ahead and let me know down below in the comments all those stories of Knight's trying to tell you he isn't busted. Anyways, uh, I guess that'll do it for me. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye.